Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So, I just got another seed order in the mail today, and um, this is from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds, also known as Rare Seeds. Now, I am not affiliated with them in any way, shape, or form. I do not work for them. I just buy seeds from them if they have what I'm looking for. So, we're going to go through this order here, and I'm going to show you what I got. I got some new things that I'm going to be trialing out, and uh, I got some old things that uh, I really liked and decided to get more of them. So, um, for my free pack of seeds, I got uh, a lettuce merlot, and uh, this is a red lettuce. And one of my favorite varieties of lettuces is, is red lettuce. So, um, let's see here. This is a cut and come again one. Uh, really frilly leaves. Let's see here. And this one can tolerate some frost, so it's frost hardy. So I'm really looking forward to getting to try this here. I don't know if I ever had the Merlot lettuce before, so I'm really looking forward to getting to try this one here. And this here is a, a Jessica Mixed Coxcomb. Now this is a shorter variety, it is a crested variety. And when I saw the colors of it, I decided to go ahead and give it a try. Now this one here, hold on here, let me grab it. The Dwarf Coral Garden Mix is one of my favorite ones to grow. And I went ahead and got some more seeds. I couldn't remember how many packs I had of this, so um, I wanted to make sure I had this on hand. And this one here, I want to give it a try and go ahead and see what it looks like. These are supposed to... Um, they can get 16 inches across, the heads can. And it comes in some colors including crimson, yellow, tangerine, magento, and I believe it's cerise. Not sure how to pronounce that one. These get about a foot tall and uh, they're 90 days. Now that can um, kind of vary depending on like if they don't get enough food or if they get poor lighting or something like that. So the 90 days is kind of um, an estimate on that. That can depend on your growing conditions. And Celosia is not frost hardy, so you want to make sure that you put these out after the danger of frost has passed because Celosia does not like cold temperatures and they don't like cold soil. So I also went with a Celosia Eternity Mix. Now I've never tried this before and um, I decided to go ahead and see what this looks like. Now this is a plume type celosia here. And I'm really like excited to see what this looks like. Now this one here is supposed to be like an 85 day one. But of course, again, that can vary. And uh, it's supposed to have sort of like fruit bowl colors. Uh, blooms in blood orange, mare lemon, raspberry, and tangerine tones. And these get about 2 to 2.5 feet tall. So really looking forward to getting to see what this here looks like. And the Chinese wolf flower. I looked at this one last year. This is another Celosia. And I didn't really know if I wanted to get it or not. I believe it was brand new last year. And I decided to wait. And some people put some reviews on that I was reading. And I seen some pictures from some customers. And once I saw the pictures, I decided, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and give this a try. The blooms look absolutely beautiful on it. So I went ahead and got this one here. This one here doesn't tell me um, the days for maturity on it. But I'm really, really looking forward to getting to try this one here. And you'll notice I tried a lot of different Celosia varieties this year. And um, I have a special thing that I want for them. I'm kind of looking for some different varieties. And I'm looking for some ones to replace some hybrids that I can't get seeds for anymore. So these being heirlooms, I can collect the seeds from them providing, you know, that I don't let the other ones go to seed and uh, I'll have my varieties then that I want. This here is a, an African Daisy Flake and uh, I grew these before. I love African Daisies and my seed pack from a different company was pretty old. Um, wasn't getting the best germination rates out of it so when I seen that they had this I went ahead and got this here. And these here are uh, 
These get about 15 inches tall, and the blooms are about 3 inches across. And it is an annual. And then the coxcomb orange peach. I love this variety here. I wasn't sure how many seeds I had left of it. Um, I know I had collected some, but some of my seeds, I had put them in envelopes. And here, when I put them in the envelopes, the seeds leaked out of the bottom of the envelope. And everything kind of got all mixed up. So I just really wanted to make sure that I had this one here and went ahead and got it again. And this, this one has beautiful, beautiful colors to it. They can range from, in, in my interpretation, sort of like an orange juice orange to like a orange peach color. And I love the blooms of this one. So I went ahead and got this one here again. So we have some new things that we're gonna be trying out. And then we went with some old favorites. So as these start growing and as they continue to grow, I'll come back with more videos and I'll show them to you. Um, I'm hoping to do a video at the end of next year's season on uh, which ones for the Solosha's that I really liked and which ones I'm going to be keeping. And uh, I don't know, I might do an each individual one of each variety, like a review of it. I haven't quite decided yet. So uh, I can show you like what each variety looks like. Now, soil conditions, heat conditions, your, your Solosha likes it very, very hot. They grow best in hot climates and really warm climates. So um, that is something to take into consideration when you're growing Solosha. And like I said, you wanna make sure that you put it out after the danger of frost has passed because you don't wanna lose your plants. And I have, have had that happen a long time ago where um, it had gotten cold out when it wasn't supposed to and it did damage some of my Solosha seedlings. So you just wanna, you know, take that into consideration. I did do a review, I believe it was, on the Dwarf Coral Garden mix. You can check that one out on my channel and uh, plan on doing that for these three here. I'm really looking forward to seeing this one here bloom. So this one here is gonna be one I really wanna do videos on. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button. I'll try to put a new video on. You can also follow me on Twitter. I have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.